Yeah, Welcome back, guys, to another uh, episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I've just come back from uh, a week-long holiday in the sun, so my face might look like a beetroot, so that's the sun for you, and the lack of sun cream. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for your comments on the last couple of episodes. One comment in particular, or a few comments, actually, uh, you guys were talking about the robot we found in another Tesla lab with the uh, professor, and the pre professor was dead, and there was no sign of the robot. And I thought, ah, it's gone somewhere. But yeah, I, I uh, obviously could have relied on you guys to let me know where that robot was. So you said it was uh, in our starting area, Coulter, starting area here, and it was uh, due west of the, the sea. Um, so on a mountain, so it's right here somewhere. So we'll have to have a look for that. I'll stick a marker here. So we'll have a look for that. And also I had a comment saying while I'm up in this area, um, between these two, Dead Boot Creek and Spider Gorge, uh, east of the O's, there's like a mammoth I can find. So um, I'll stick a, a point of interest there as well. Also, while I'm here, um, there's a waterfall um, up here, probably a frozen waterfall. And there's a like a decomposing man and um, his horse. And in a lockbox next to him, there's the uh, Hawk Talon Trinket. So we'll have to go and check that out as well. So yes. And also on the last episode, or maybe two ago, two episodes ago, I can't remember, um, I was trying to uh, craft something out of, um, I think it was alligator skin, legendary alligator skin and, um, and something else. But I needed a thing called the Vintage Civil War Handcuffs. And one of you have kindly said that I can get that by get one set of the uh, premium cigarette cards, you know, the, the sets, and sending them off to that Phineas T. Ramsbottom. So if I do that, he will send me um, that handcuff. So let's get started. Let's make our way to Coulter. Yes. See you guys there. All right, here we are, back in Coulter, where it all started off many, many episodes ago. So I'm going to head um, west. <laughs> and see if i can find this robot up a mountain maybe it's up here so i'll see you guys when i when i find it hopefully i'll find it okay i've been i don't know if that's something over there i've been looking around these mountains for quite a while no avail I see something over there. I don't know if it's a robot. If I can get down off here without killing my horse. Or killing Arthur. That would be brilliant. So there's something. It's a robot, guys. I think I found it. Well, not on my own with you guys. Papa? How the hell did he get up here? <laughs> Papa? Can we do anything with it? Wow. He picked a good view to sort of die. I think that's it. I don't know if you can do anything else with it, but... We found it, which is the main thing, which is what, what I wanted to do. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me know where it is. I know. Should we aim weapon? Can we kill it? Should we see what happens if we kill it? I don't know. I thought... Put it out of his misery. Probably not, but not a good idea, really. All right, so let's um, let's head over to. Um, oh, I feel a bit bad about the robot. Let's let's, let's uh, head over to this area here, so we can find this mammoth, and then while we're there, we can head up to this waterfall to see if we can find this hawk talon uh, trinket. So yeah, I'll see you guys here, I guess. Okay, we're at the destination now, but God, it's blizzardy. It is blizzardy. I can't see anything. Oh, look at this. We found it already. It's just a point of interest. I was told so let's inspect it some bones oh some bones is this the bones we need as well for that woman don't know was this a mammoth i believe it must be because someone said in the comments <laughs> all right thanks for that it's interesting right okay well let's go go and find this waterfall then and so we can what? and see this um this decomposing guy yeah. all right so i found the waterfall Although it's not frozen waterfalls, it might not be here. 
Uh, maybe it's further on that. Alright, I'll keep looking up here. Oh, here's a frozen waterfall here. So is there a guy somewhere? Hmm. I'm going to have a little wander around. Maybe it's, th maybe it's through there. Is that a nice cave? Ah, I see something. Okay, it's probably not a good idea to jump in freezing water. So I'm going to go around the other side and see if I can get across without getting wet or dying. <laughs> well, I've got wet already, so... <laughs> Let's make this jump like that <laughs> and this must be yeah this is it wow let's have a look at what we got here so yeah it's a decomposing horse and a decomposing guy mm. oh well he, he uh oh he broke his leg as well didn't he all right well let's go to this this uh lock box then and see if we can get this trinket out of the lock box if we can actually target it So let's have a look. Hawk Talon Trinket. Excellent stuff, guys. Thank you very much for letting me know about this. Hawk Trinket. So what does it actually do, this Hawk Talon Trinket? Should we have a look? Primarily decreases the speed at which the stamina bar drains when drawing a bow by 30%. Well, fantastic. That's brilliant. Another thing as well, quite a few of you guys said, it was um, hold off now on the Hamish missions until the next chapter. And they didn't say why. They said just, you know, do it. And it'll it'll come apparent when I get there. So yes, we'll um we'll we'll hold off on the Hamish ones. So we haven't in fact got three missions here. We got Micah. Oh, we got Thunderstorm, Rains Fall, whatever. Um, I fancy a bit of Rains Fall. I quite like those Indian fellas. So let's uh let's go up to Rains Fall and see what they want. Yes. All right, guys. I expect I'll see you see you there at the uh, the camp. The wigwams. All right, we're coming up to here now. You cannot use weapons in this area. Okay. So this will be the first kind of mission we've done within this um, camp. With PT. Is, what is it called? With PT? Why PT? Anyway, let's check out this uh, rain falls. God, we're going slow in here, aren't we? Right, let's go walk then. Little TPs here. Do they have a totem pole as well? Indians have totem poles? Nothing proven yet. We will see about him. Demon. I am too weary for this. Please, yeah. leave me be. Hello, sirs. I want no business with you. Okay, nice. That's very nice. Thank you very much for that lovely um, welcome. So let's look, let's look for Rainfalls then. Is he in his tent? Where is he? Rainfalls? Or maybe he's in his hut. We go in here? Oh, enter. We can. We can go into the hut. Hello? Come in. <coughs> I like that transition then, from, <coughs> you know, <coughs> gameplay to cutscene. You don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I have killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, 
Your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, of course sure, help. I can help. Uh, on us, maximum. News. Thank you. That's all right. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. See you later. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. Nice, we'll nice chat. We'll continue chap. on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Oh, nice. So, maybe... Um, it'll be the Indians that help us then. Get rid of this yeah. TB. Because they're all into the old ancient medicine and... And whatnot and... See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Whoa. Hang on, horse is getting a bit spooked. My war horse is. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Rain's full. Okay, eagle, where's eagle flies? So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and... This ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interest. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Oh. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. We didn't drive too fast, did we then? We did it a slow trot. Hopefully it carries on that conversation. Then pick his herbs and, uh... I was wondering why the horse kept trying to stop all the time. I thought it was my, um, something wrong with my controls. What's this here then? This is what I was looking for. English mace. English mace. Okay, that's okay. a new one. Let's continue. Can I carry carry any of that English mace? One. So you were saying? I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. 
It's not that way. So you was just talking about something? Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Okay, Arthur's son. Arthur's son? You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We've got we loads of ginseng. More about this later. I didn't know Arthur had a son. Did we know that? What's all these? Another one of those things over there. Yep. These things. So, well. Okay, let's follow Rain's Falls. Okay. So ginseng. Yeah, just you should have asked me. I've got look. Oh, look at that view, man. We are high up here. Where are we on the map? One second. Hey, we're in the Grizzlies. Okay. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Yeah, I, I have got loads, but yeah, a, bit, a few more is all right. I always um, I wouldn't say no. Obviously. These together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So you were just talking about something. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him. Shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Monroe Arthur Cygnus, maybe I you can... I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it... If I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Look at that view, guys. A lot of people have said, once I played this game, it's very hard to go on to another game. Because <laughs> this is like the benchmark now of all games. But you can see why, can't you? It's absolutely magnificent. I'm definitely going to miss this game when it's all over. I don't want it to be over. You know, I think the epilogue or the end. I got one more chapter from what the comments have. Um, what I read from read in the comments, and I mean, this chapter here is quite a long chapter. But yeah, once it's all over, it's gonna be sad. I'm gonna have to find another game. Although I have got some games lined up, so I do plan after this to start the Witcher series. So I've always fancied playing them. But I've actually started uh, listening to the audiobooks. It's just up ahead. Okay. So we, do, we can't talk about Monroe What's then. Happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who? Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Hmm, let's have a look. Help me look around, please! The Trinopa is gone. Of course. 
What is it? Uh, a ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Take the bourbon anyway. Right, some other, some else on there. Oh, there's some over there as well. Flask. An army. If it's the army, I thought it might be. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. There's something else over there, and two other, another one over there as well on the right. Um, another bottle. So it's, it's the same thing. Whiskey bottle. They're having a party. Hey, I found some. It's above my head. It's it's mag It's weird. It's magical. It's almost like bugged out. An empty <laughs> bottle of whiskey. It's floating well, in the midair. Drank all that. They couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. God, that is crazy. Look at that floating down. Have they done another update or something recently? Because things seem different. I gotta say. The graphic, like even doing this, it seems different. It seems more pixelated, maybe? Well, I've been away for a week. I've come back and. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Okay. No, I'll say I've come back. Been one week away, I've come back and, it, and my face cam didn't work. And my audio was all messed up. I think, what's happened? Right, what we got then here? Is this it? I thought I saw something else over here, but maybe I didn't. Oh, okay. We'll go back and see a uh, thunderstorm. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Is there? I haven't got my big do weapons. Do you have any binoculars? Binocular, I do. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. No. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. I think he needs to change his name to Thunderstorm. Now this my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. We can. Well, we can't, really. It's the army. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. What, just walk in? Would you do that? Well, you can't go, they know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Okay. This is gonna be Let's dangerous. see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but hey. actions don't always go the way you plan. Okay, so we're going to go to the camp. We're going to try to do it sneaky sneaky. Um, as we're not very sneaky sneaky, <laughs> we usually cut these things up. Um, I'll return to the army camp. Oh, I suppose, hang on. Let me just get a decent weapon. Um, although, you know, we shouldn't really need it, to be fair, but... I can see those weapons need a bit of a clean as well, already. Right, let's get to the camp then. Hmm, can we just get down here? Okay, so before we go, let's go make sure we have some decent food and decent um, dead eye. Although, you know, we're not going to go and start shooting around. We're just going to walk in there nicely. Sneaky, sneaky, so they don't see us. Put our gun away, Arthur, come on. And uh, get his, was it, is it a pipe? Ceremonial pipe? And then just walk straight on out. And we won't fire one bullet. 
<laughs> I was saying no I've been away for a week and since I've been I've, one, one week away I come back face cam didn't work the audio was all messed up um, this seems all different but oh hang on right so we they are red so we can't just walk in walk in right search the camp for the sacred items we don't we don't really want to fight because there's quite a few of them here um search the camp can we do something else with the bow can we kill him we better not because um uh, rain falls won't be too happy Right. Yeah. I'm sure. There's some guys there. Engines. Hmm. What's well, a dude over there? Maybe we can just um take him out. I know. Who wants to fight them? Right. I wonder if we should quickly just polish our guns just in case. Who's got this horse boot, huh? Uh, probably not the best time to clean. <laughs> hey, I heard some. Quick, 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 clean, quick. I heard somebody cleaning their weapons. Who's there? No, no, no! Come on! I'll put it, put it away. We Shit. got an intruder. Oh fuck! I didn't... Well, that was the regular, was it? I mean, thunderstorm won't be happy now with this. Doesn't matter, does it? I'm going to blast it. We just won't get gold, that's all. But it is easier this way, even actually. Right, okay. He won't be happy. Mr. Rainfalls, he won't be happy. I probably I probably could have cleaned my weapons before coming down here. Um It is what it is. Maybe we can loot these guys anyway. I'm gonna get loads of comments now saying, "Oh, you should have sneaked in." And right, it's over here. Here we go. Can you put? Okay, it's here. Let's pick it up. Well, we might as well have a look at the chest anyway and see what else we can get. Okay, return. To He's gonna tell us off, isn't he? <laughs> right, I'm just gonna search this camp first, guys, and then we'll return to uh, Mr. Rain. Okay, Mr. Rain, I it might not have gone to plan. You might not like this. Yes. But I might have killed one or two of them. Here. I uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. One or two. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Oh. It's now us versus the army, isn't it? I thought... He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak. And pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Hmm. Okay, I bet it. I bet one of them conditions are like not killing anyone. Okay, archaeology for beginners. Arthur visits Rain's Fall in Wapiti, and they travel to a sacred Native American site in the East. Grizzlies. Recover the relics without being detected. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Recover the relics within 1 minute 30 seconds. Well, that's quick. That was hard. That we hard to do. That one would be. Okay, so just looking back at the um, 
Available missions here. So again, we've got Hey Mission. We can, we can leave that from what you guys said. So I'll, I'll, I'll go along with that. So we got Seder back in Saint Denis. Uh, Michael, Michael Bell. And we got this Captain Monroe. So we could just carry on with Captain Monroe because we're, we're up, we're up here. Are we, where, are we up here? I don't know where we are. Yeah, we're over here. All right. So we could just do that. Let's go and see Captain Monroe and see what he has to say. And we'll ride there. Hopefully, we might bump into a stranger mission or something. We'll see. Okay, we are back. Let's go and see this Monroe. That was quite a nice little ride. Didn't see any stranger missions. I think we're exhausted them all now. Mr. Morgan. Hello, mate. Hello. Here I am, as promised. We walk in. Oh, I thought it was a cutscene. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's gone out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. <laughs> I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead okay. the way, Captain. Although Arthur's sick, he's still got the aggression and the determination so to... this Colonel Favors, he you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rains Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna be sad when this is all over. Just looking, just watching them. See the mountains and that bridge when we're going up here it was just stunning. Easy. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Shall I get my big weapons out, Monroe? My big ones? My big kick-ass ones? Badass? The 
wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Okay. So retrieve the medicine from the supply wagon. So, um, okay, let's go. We just jump on them and we don't want to kill them, do we? Really? We can help it. Let's go alongside it and then just jump up, jump on it. Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? We're the United States Army. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Can you shoot us? Oh, he is as well. Well... There's probably a way... Oh, for God's sake. There obviously was a way you could do it nicely, and I, I'm telling you, I expect you guys will tell me, <laughs> but... Okay, let's go on the mic again. I'm not sure how we could do it, but maybe we didn't have our... I think we had our gun out, that's the problem. Oh, okay, we just got to get the... We can't... Okay, we just got to get the stuff. Okay. Let's search the medicine crate. Yeah, I probably could have done that without killing them, but... It is what it is. Lose a little bit of honor, not a lot. Okay, so we turn the medicine to Captain Monroe. He'll say, did you kill anyone? And I was like, yes. So maybe just one little person. So we got, we got Mr. Rain and we got Flippin' Monroe. They're not happy with us. But we are Arthur Morgan. We talk with our guns. I don't know what it is. It, I don't know whether it's been updated, but the game looks more vibrant. Possibly. Yeah. All right. You all right? Oh, here we are. We are back. Right, okay, Monroe, you're probably not going to be happy with us because we didn't do it that cleanly. Oh, this all grows so tiring. I Where is he? Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Okay, mission complete. Honor amongst thieves. Let's see how bad we've done. Uh, Colonel Favors is redirecting smallpox vaccine away from Wapiti Reservation to punish the Native Americans for the recent unrest. Monroe requests Arthur's help to steal the vaccine from the army. Uh, recover the vaccine without being detected. Complete within five minutes. So another another, another balls that one there. So yeah, we didn't really... Uh, do that the best way, but we did it in the, we did it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm a bit worried about Arthur actually. He's look I keep looking at him in his cutscenes and he is looking worse for wear. Um so I hope he doesn't actually die in the end. But uh yes. Um what we should what should we do now? Right, we could do we could we could do Mike and Bell really. I can't stand that guy.
don't trust him, do we, at all? Now, he's the most untrustworthy person we know. Um, so I don't know what he wants. Does it say anything about what, what we can do with it? It just says... It doesn't say anything, really, does it? All right, well, let's just, hunt, let's just pop over to um, Van Horn Trading Post and see the little bugger, which is Micah. Hmm, so we are wanted for dead or alive. I'm in, I'm in here now. I'm just thinking, can we actually pay off our bounty here? Or is that like... We've gone beyond that. Let's have a look. Hey, I don't want any more nonsense from you, all right? Forgiveness for a price. No, I mean, we can't really pay off that bounty, so... so yes, that's over. Okay, well, let's, um, let's go and head towards Mica then. Yeah, so we have to be careful, really, because I was thinking about heading to um, Saint-Denis, because someone did mention about buying a, an M1899 pistol. Um, so at one point, but it's all red. I mean, if we get spotted, surely the people are going to start shooting at us. Yep. Let's see. For, for now, let's go find Micah. And see what that little bugger has to uh, say. Oh, he's up here, right. Oh, yeah, I remember this now from the last mission. He, he's holding up in this building. All right, let's go and see him then. Hmm. That was Bill as well. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was Frick. you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. Oh. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me! You two! I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit! Yes, we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> it's getting really annoying, Micah. I thought it was sort of kind of funny at the start. All right, let's go. Let's go and let's How change our clothes. Boy. Um, is this our horse? Yeah, it is. Okay, hang one second. Fun, boy. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> a pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Yeah, I see him. Okay, em. I think we're clear. Let's head on. Like you were saying before, well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Mike is getting to you as well. Hmm. Like well. Okay. Let's hold up here. Right, okay, we got some weapons already, um... Okay, they, they all do, these are do. The wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. Okay. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, 
You go play dead, and I'll take care of them. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Okay, get position for the ambush. So we need to go up. We need to go up there. So is there a ladder? Oh, wow. Well. What can have we got? Wait for Bill to attack. I mean, there's a guy there, and there's a guy there with gun. These people. Move, you idiot! Move! Did I kill him? Stab him? Of... <gasps> right, now we get. Oops. Is that all of them? Well, we've got to get back, get to back to the wagon, okay. I think we got them all anyway. Let's go on our horse, come on, come on, come on. Right, get on the wagon. Oh, good, that's okay. Right, let's go. That's way. Alright, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. What gun have we got there? We've got the Carcana rifle. Okay, that's good. Nice shooting back there. Nice drunk playing. Comes naturally. Whoa. I could use a drink after that. I've got some bourbon in my pocket. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit! Oh, Damn my God. There's be a lot of dead eye. Oh, we've got to get some more dead eye stuff, actually. Need some more meats. Right, let's go and quickly grab some um, dead eye stuff. Have we got any left? We've went, oh, we've eaten it all, have we? Oh, bugger. No chance. One good shot and I'll blow us both to kingdom come. I thought there was no law in Vanport. Is that really mad? Okay, we are wanted now. now. <laughs> well, we're wanted, plus we're up for vehicle theft. That's minor compared to the fact that we are wanted for, well, wanted dead or alive as well. Oh, the piece of come. Still more behind. Is there one in front of us as well? The dynamite will be vulnerable if they break through the cargo. Well, right, we gotta be careful then. You need to take them out, Arthur. Okay, I, I, I was, I was thought I was quite good myself, Bill. I'm all right, Arthur. Oh shit. We need to get some more of that dead eye stuff, actually. Oh my god, what am I missing? I need to get the actual core up. Smoke a cigar. Then that's um, probably not a smoking cigar, it's probably not the best thing. Is that some rum? There's another guy down there as well. Probably not. What's this? We're leading them right back to camp. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, on top of his head off. Scout him. Okay, we're looking okay with okay. Dead Eye. I don't see any more. All right. Huh. Oh, that was close. It was close. Cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> what do you reckon? Don't get, I didn't get a gold then. I might got a silver. Folks, so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. But it should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, 
There's Micah up ahead. Great. Bill's kind of disrespectful Whoa. lately to Arthur. So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Trust me. Who, who, who says that? Who else says that? Trust me. It's Dutch. We got silver. Probably because we have some food. Um, let's have a look. Bill and Arthur ambush an army convoy transporting dynamite through Van Horn. Van Horn. Um, complete with at least 85% accuracy. Fine. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to leave that one there, guys, I think. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. So hopefully I will see you on the next episode. Until then, take care.